What is up, everybody? Okay, so I'm trying out this new setup, which should hopefully be better quality. Although I was thinking about this, <clears throat> I have spent a lot of time uh, and money and, and headache trying to get this setup to work. And I, I realized there's going to be some of those people that are like, I, I watch in 140p anyway. So it doesn't like it doesn't really matter between you know this setup and the other setup. But uh, okay, let me know what it looks like. I will say it has definitely fixed the artifacting problem. Like I can scroll up and down like this, and it's not you know freaking the hell out. So that's nice. All right, let's do a stage and see how it looks. Yeah, it looks pretty good. The issue is just. One, I have a monstrous spider cord thing on my desk, so that's a thing, and I have to dual wield mice, which I hate, um, and I've, I've, I've wanted to try getting a monitor that has, uh, that's touchscreen enabled, but Beastly thinks if I did that, what would happen is the touchscreen would allow you to just drag the mouse around, and it's because Samsung DeX, when it's hooked up this way, essentially... It has like a preset mode it goes into, right? And it, it always generates the mouse and and stuff. So I'm not sure it would work, but uh, it'd be nice if I could get rid of the mouse. Anyway, let's see. Let's do a stage We're testing here. Let's see if somebody can solo the Bodica Geronimo one. We did solo it finally with Zet, but let's give someone else a go here. I found a way to make the mouse bigger. Yeah, that's not quite what we need. Yeah, I wish I could get a custom mouse courser, which you can for your computer, but it, 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 I don't know of a way to customize your mouse courser uh, in your phone. And I'm not even sure if you got, like, this is the thing. If I got an app for my phone to change the mouse courser, I'm not sure it would even work. It might need to be for Samsung Dex specifically. Uh, what's the move set of power stance mice? I know, right? Yeah, that's, that is what I'm doing right now. But yeah, I don't mind the mouse cursor for streaming though because I can like point to stuff that I'm talking about. I actually think that's kind of good, but um, I don't want it for my videos. But yeah, I have a feeling it's deck specific, but I'm, I'm honestly not sure. I've tried to look into it and I've seen a few other people asking about it, but they never got an answer. All right, who to try the solo with? So I'd like to use a night class. That's almost impossible for them to solo it, but it will be interesting. I guess Ruler would be acceptable as well. Honestly, Beastly, have you tried? Because your bunny Artoria is so much better than mine. But have you tried it with her? Because I wonder how she does. It wouldn't shock me if she could do it. Still a pretty tall order because they got so much health if you're not doing the gimmick. Yeah, Burgess. You could try Burgess. Um... Yeah, let's do Burgess. But, uh, yeah, I actually wouldn't mind trying Ruler Artoria. Kind of a... Kind of fun to use a ruler because uh, they can't do the, the counter class gimmick, right? There's no way. But they still are tanky. We can try Romulus in a minute. I think he'll have a really bad time, but uh, I do like using Romulus. This is, I think, really hard to solo for a night class. Oh yeah, another problem with this setup is it's going to be harder for me to adjust the volume. I can still do it, but it is definitely harder for me to adjust volume. It's also significantly harder for me to zip the app. Because I have to like hover the mouse up here to bring up like the bar from Dex, and then hit the X. If I wanted to be able to Alt F4, I'd have to be I'd have to um, plug a keyboard into my phone, which I can do. But then I'd be dual wielding keyboards, and uh, yeah, I don't really want to have two keyboards and two mice uh, on my desk. Uh, Beasley had the idea of making a custom keyboard that is literally just Alt F4, and you plug that into your phone. Which uh, honestly, if I could do that, I would because that's all I need it for, is to zip the app. Okay, um... Let me think, so... You've got Armor Ignore... Crit, getting Crit is bad, Bodica spams Buster... Bodica's MP doesn't matter, Hide needs to die, but you have the stun thing. Might bring Atlas then, so I don't need the stun resist command code. If I had a bigger desk or something, or I got the kind of setup for it, I wouldn't mind dual wielding keyboards, but it, it, it'd be so silly to be dual wielding keyboards just for Alt F4ing and the app, right? Like, that's all I would use it for. That, that's kind of silly. 
If I could like customize it, like if FGO actually had support for keyboard, which it doesn't, but if it, some apps, you know, do have like controller support and, and mouse and keyboard support, but most of them don't. But if FGO did, where I could like actually set up the keyboard to do functions and stuff, like clicking one, two, three, four, might like click your cards and stuff, uh, then I would do it in a heartbeat. That'd be awesome. Uh, Cause then I could just put them, cause when I put the mouse off to the side, you can't see it and it actually disappears after a few seconds. So if I could like set up hotkeys to, you know, interface with things on the screen, I would totally do that. That'd be great. But uh, yeah, it wouldn't be worth it. All I could do is alt f Yeah, bust, uh, Buster card spam is all Bodica does. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think if healing is worth it. I, I think it is. Their normal card damage is high, but it's not that high. So I guess heal on Buster and heal boost on Buster, actually. I may need to tweak my OBS settings, because like for me, this quality improvement is massive. Like, it's super massive. But, um, obviously OBS is like a filter between what I'm seeing and you're seeing. So, I might have to tweak my OBS settings some. But like, for, for those of you that can actually watch the stream, you know, and like not in 140p, uh, it, does this look noticeably better than, you know, what it was yesterday? Because to me it does, but I'm not 100% sure it will on the stream side. I'm sure the artifacting uh, being gone is good though, because like that was crazy when I'd like scroll up and down like how much artifacting there was, uh, and sometimes even like during some animations. Okay, so heal boost and heal. I could do damage. Are there any buffs I want to remove? I could also do crit down because of Bodica. Bodica crits us. I think we're gonna lose. Do I put crit down? Is it worth it? Either that or just oomph. They've got a lot of health, so oomph is good. There's not, I don't remember any debuffs that matter other than the stun, so I'll do this. I could do the fence removal because Bodica does get the fence buffs and she has two of them, and so your buff removal from Burgess would only get rid of the one. I'm not sure it's worth a slot just for that though. Uh, what else we could do? There's always Star Bomb, but I don't think we're going to use our Quick Card too much. Um, did Bodica do her interlude? I don't think she did. I don't think the enemy Bodica has done her interlude, so I don't think they get an attack buff. Because if they did, I'd probably use this, but I'll just go with the straight Star Bomb. Yeah, Geronimo is the only one with a damaging NP, but uh, Hyde hits so hard that... Uh, which is funny, because Hyde uses some of his weakest cards, I think, when he transforms. Uh, but he can still fuck you up pretty quick. Just because Berserker, Multiplier, and all that. Could just do more damage, like just do this. 20% more damage. Either that, I'm gonna do crit down. I think if it, if it saves me from one crit, like just if it prevents one crit, that is enough to, to be worth it. How was your trash account? Uh, I haven't played it in a while. I've just been busy with all this bullshit they were doing in Tesla Fest and then Elden Ring. So I haven't really been playing old accounts like at all, but I'll get to it soon because um, we got a little bit before the event and there's nothing else to do. Um, I won't be able to stream my trash accounts, like my alt accounts, in this good of quality. I can only do, I can do two accounts in NA. So NA can look like this, my main account can look like this, and I could, I could pick one other account to look like this. Um, I'm not even sure which one would be best. There's my standard alt, which is what I normally do. I'd probably do my standard alt, because when they do like Lost Belt 7, that's probably what I'll stream, is my alt account and stuff like that. And I'd want that to be in as good as quality as possible. So yeah, probably the standard ult. Um, but that's alright. I can still do, you know, like, emulators for my ult accounts or something. And it's not so bad. Okay. It, it, yeah, I wish you could do support. That's the one sad thing about these quests. I actually like how in the initial clear you can't use supports. So you gotta stand on your own. It encourages people to level up, you know, challenge quest style units and stuff like that. That's all great. But after you've beaten it, it'd be nice if you had the option to summon supports, just for fun. Because you've already beaten it, right? So it, it, it just is for fun. Uh, and I wouldn't force people to use supports, because some people are going to be very happy that they can do this stage and not use... Oh, I should use Tesla. Oh, hell yeah, yeah we'll do Tesla next. I don't know why I didn't think of that. We're going to use a Knight class, that's a pretty good one. 
All right, this is good. Guts is good. Obviously, there's the Yang CE if I wanted to get really crazy. Our NP is certainly good though, so I like starting NP. I think it's starting NP or Guts. I need to get this thing to 100, man. The problem with um, no Guts is that means I need to kill Geronimo first, but I don't like killing Geronimo first. Because Bodica just does so much normal card damage, I like her to die first. I'll try Golden Sumo, but it might need to be Guts. Because if Geronimo NPs a second time, we're dead. But Bodica just might kill us before that anyway, so it wouldn't necessarily matter. I hope the new event's good. We still don't know what the welfare is. Damn, this looks so good on my end, dude. Like, I can see the sprite quality, like, so much better than normal. So, and I got it on, like, my big monitor. It's great. Okay, that is the wrong mouse. God damn it. I think that's gonna happen a lot. Also, I don't know of a way to adjust the mouse sensitivity. I'm not a fan of that. Okay. Is the background here always this? My memory was like, it was like the green version, which is like the daytime, not like dusk or whatever, but, uh, I may not have paid attention. I hope it's a serious event, that'd be nice. It's been a while since we've done one like that. Yeah, I, for my videos, I don't want the mouse just hanging out, but what I can do is once I select the cards, I can put the mouse off to the side like this and let the turn play out. You have to be careful though, because if you put the mouse up here, it brings up the decks, like, you know, close the app, minimize the app thing. And if you go down here, it shows like your, you know, your phone charge, you know, take a screenshot, your app button, you know, all that. So you don't want that popping up in a video. It's very uncinematic. If you don't touch the mouse at all, it'll fade away in a, in a moment, uh, right, right like that. But for like, if I'm recording an NP or whatever, you gotta get that mouse off the screen. So I'll just put it off to the side like that. I just have to get in the habit of that whenever like the turn has initiated right and the actions are playing you want to get it off the screen because this this will look awful in videos man it's like i try to make cinematic videos and you know this is not very cinematic right you know dancing mouse around uh i i, I like it so much more if i could get a custom uh like mouse courser that would kind of make it really good i think All right, do I cast my third skill now? I don't think so. I guess I just brave Shane here with Merlin, but I probably wouldn't use him for a little bit anyway. Do quick last, because I actually would like to crit next turn. Yeah, I've thought about that uh, touch sensitive monitor, um, but I think Beastly is right that if you use a touch monitor, it either wouldn't work at all, or the touch monitor would just let you drag the mouse around. And I really think because of the way Samsung Dex works, I think that's what would happen, is it, it would either not work at all, or it would drag the mouse around. Now, I know for a fact that you can use a touch monitor if you're not streaming, because then you can set, I don't know how to explain this, but you can basically set your phone um, to just straight use the monitor as uh, like the display, but to stream it, that doesn't work. You have to set it where it's like, you're basically using it as a television and you're like broadcasting what you're doing onto the television. Because here's the thing, this mouse that you're seeing, this is not on my PC, it's not. This mouse is in my phone, right? Like this mouse is moving around on my phone screen. Um, and, and I'm basically displaying my phone screen onto what my phone thinks is a television. Now this isn't a television, but that's what it thinks. And so I can't interact with this image really from my monitor. Now I can display it to like my PC monitor, uh, and then I could do that, and I could use a touch uh, 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 enabled monitor, and I could do stuff, but I can't stream that. Um, so I could do that for videos, uh, I think, but I couldn't do it for streaming. I don't know if I want to buy another monitor just for my videos, although that would be nice, I suppose. I found out how to map minimize app to the right mouse button. I can show you later. Okay, yeah, we don't we don't need it right now, but yeah, I'll definitely want that later. That'll help a lot because uh, that'll be our Alt F4 option. 
You can you can change the the coarser speed. Okay, that's good. I want to slow it down a bit. If only I could customize this and like make it like you know like lost idea was you make it bulk right? You make it a bolt like a little mini spear, right? Or just make it look kind of you know fantasy looking or or whatever, right? So it was more you know immersive or something. That would be a lot better because like this is so distracting, right? Like boop got your nose, right? Uh, at least when bad RNG happens, I could like freak out, right, uh, on screen, so that's a thing. Can't even make it green. Yeah, my normal mouse monitor is green. But yeah, you can't change this one as far as I'm aware. I'm sure if, like, the, the desire was there, like, Samsung could do it. They could give you the option and make an app for it if they wanted to, but I, you know, there's probably like nine people on the planet that care. Okay, time to fire everything, I think. We're gonna whip the heal, but... No, I'm gonna wait a turn on that. Am I though? Because we have Atlas. How much do I care about the damage? I care about the damage a decent amount. We we need to we need to hurt somebody. Do I want to pass on that 60% because I don't want to whiff the heal? No, I'm doing it. Just crit forehead. I I don't mind the courser at all for streaming because it lets me you know. Point towards what I'm talking about, or like when I, when I say this craft essence, I can point at a certain craft essence. So for streaming, I don't, I have no problem. If anything, I, I kind of prefer it. Um, she guarded the crit down. But yeah, for the YouTube videos, I don't, I don't like it. But at least I can turn it off during like the animation phase. So it's not like as distracting. Guess I just Atlas right now. Okay, it's already hide time. Can't say I'm happy about that. I'm not need to start nuking him. Do I want to just murder Bodica or do I want to focus on NP gain? I kind of want to... Fuck, Merlin's on cooldown. Alright, so we, we murder this turn and maybe NP gain next turn. Depending on, like, what happens. But hide's gotta go quick. Yeah, if you, it would look more jarring too. But what I'm gonna try to do, I just have to be really careful when I'm recording. I'll have to be very mindful of my mouse. And you'll move it to the side when I'm not doing anything and stuff like that. It's gotta be like an, a habit. Because for real, my, my video style is, you know, very much focusing on like making it more cinematic and, you know, that kind of thing and like syncing up with the music, that kind of stuff. So, gotta do it right. All right, time to go for hide. I think I can get my NP by just doing maybe the quick card, because I get NP from our third skill. Hmm, I almost want to put Merlin on a buster card. There's a chance that I'd get my NP from being attacked, because I get my extra attack, I get my third skill, and then them hitting me. I think I still need a little MP gain, but I don't think I need Merlin. Let's do... This is kind of risky, but let's do this. Let's see if that's enough. I don't know, that quick gain was a little... frimpy. Come on. There we go. Oh, no, there we don't go. Woo, we barely got it. We could have... If Bodica had cast a skill, it would have been alright. But if Geronimo had, it would not have been. It's not as hopeless as I thought it would be, though. Okay, I think he will die this turn. And then I can focus on Bodica. I think Geronimo's gonna finish us off, though. Yeah, I know, we removed his NP buff. It's fucked up. But he still got the Berserker bonus and all that. But yeah, I know that's super fucked up. Oh, hey, he's dead. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck it. I did shit. Oh, my God. Oh, the bro okay, that, that's probably GG. Uh, I, I needed to either do the normal cards first, or I need to do the stun resist. Oh, my God. My healing! 
I lost my healing, my damage. I oh my god. Yeah, that's that, that's a huge value hit. That's probably GG. Fuck me, man. Hide you bastard. Yeah, there's no way I'm killing Geronimo before he NPs again. Absolutely not. <laughs> I feel like this is possible for her though. You just really gotta min max it. Like it's not one you're gonna just autopilot and win, but I think if you really figure this one out, I think she can do it. Hmm. I, think I need to even out my DPS a little bit. But let's focus on NP gain actually on this one. And then if I can NP next turn, that'd be great. Maybe just a gut CE. I thought that might be all she needs. Yeah, I know. The thing about PCs uh, or emulators, though, is... Um, I really wouldn't want to use them anyway. Just because... Like, I don't mind using them for, like, alt accounts, but if I was going to make videos and stuff, I don't really want to use them because they have so many sound issues. Um... And like if I'm recording an animation update or something, you don't want the sound to be all screwed up like that. It's a, kind of a big deal. Um, yeah, it's kind of, I feel like it's a lose-lose. But maybe emulators will get those their shit together at some point and, and get it working right. But I think FGO is just such a technical noodle show that uh, that's why it has problems with emulator. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely feel like this is beatable with her somehow. Okay, well there's that crit I was talking about. The problem with- wrong mouse! Uh, but that was the problem with, uh... Not attacking Bodica that turn. Like, I have to attack Bodica just to lower their DPS. Do that, I think. Need to level Dex to stream F go. Oh no, what are we do Oh shit! Damn it! What are you doing? Not yeah, no kidding! Okay! Yeah, see, they would only have two actions per turn if I'd killed her and also not Buster. So we got double Buster critted though. That's what I get for not putting Buster or crit down on her for those turns. Okay, let's try this again. Actually, let's try Tesla. Well, no, we'll try her one more time, but then I do want to try Tesla. Although, do I need that stun resist just for hide? I might. Like, that fucked us up quite a bit. Hmm. I mean, if I know the NP damage will kill him, I can just do the normal attacks first on the other target. But if you're in that situation where you're not sure if you need to hit him with cards after the NP, uh, I'll keep it as is, but yeah, that's, that's strange. So far, though, I'd say the Darius one is the, uh, the hardest one. I really like that one. It's like a proper gimmick. Just wish she had a second health bar. But I suspect, because these are slowly getting harder and harder, I, I really do think, um, the, the one... Because they still have to do a Septum one, which that will be easy, because it's, like, based on, like, when you do it, uh, in the story, it affects how hard it is. So the Septum one will be easy. And you still have to do an Oceanus one, so those two will be easy. But then, uh, see, they've done America, and they've done Camelot, because this is the America one. So next, would, after the Camelot one would be Babylonia, and that's surely going to be harder. And then they hopefully will do one for Solomon. And hell, I hope they do them for the Lost Belts, but they might not. We'll see. I think they will, because it looks like they want us to be able to limit break these CEs, which means in the long run they have to do quite a few of these. So I think, it, I think eventually this is actually going to kind of turn into a challenge tower, right? Like, it'll take a while, but I think someday that's kind of what it's going to be, which that'd be kind of awesome. And hell, they could even add ones that eventually aren't even for the craft essences. Could I get, like, a good opening hand, though? That would be swell. Do I want the first card buster bonus or stars? 
Uh, I'll do the damage. Yeah, I guess they could do Epic of Remnant once. I'm not sure they would, though, because Epic of Remnant is just so optional. Uh, I guess it'd be a nice incentive, though, to get people to do it, so... Yeah, I mean, I'd be alright with it. I don't know if they would... Okay, I'm restarting, just because... It's two bad hands in a row, and I know this is gonna be tough for her. Yeah, they could eventually overtune them, it's true. Uh, I hope not, though. Because right now, I think they're under... Well, I don't know if I'd say they're under-tuning them. Yeah, actually, I don't think these are under-tuned for what they're designed to be. Because this one is for after you beat Fuyuki, right? And uh, you can't use a support, right? Because you can get carried in a lot of the early stories. So you're going to have people that beat Fuyuki, they unlock this? That's going to be tough. Like, for real, this is a tough stage. I, I actually kind of want... I can't wait to make a new account. And we'll try to beat these advanced quests as soon as we unlock them. I think that's going to be awesome. You're going to have to really stand on your own two feet for that. Um... And then this one is uh, Orleans. I don't actually know that for sure, but I think it is because it goes 15, 25, and then it's dragons, and then it goes 55, so it's obviously mis they're missing um, a septum for 35, and then Oceanus for 45, because we, we know this one's London, because he said it was like, this one is the first one they added, and they said you had to be London for it. So uh, yeah, I think they gained 10 levels each. Uh, so this one is uh, America. So, yeah, they're gonna add a 35 one, uh, a 45 one, uh, and those will be kind of easy. But anyway, yeah, so this one after Fuyuki, I actually think is very hard. This one after Orleans also, I think, is very hard. Uh, this one after London, not too bad at that point, because it's a bit farther in the game. Uh, but still a little nasty. And then this one after America, I actually think is really nasty. And then this one in Camelot is, it's pretty much, it's like harder than a lot of the Knights of the Round Table, I would say. Maybe not harder than like Ozzy and like the Demon God and stuff. But it's close. I mean, this is pretty on par for a Camelot boss fight. Maybe a little bit harder. So the Babylonian one, if they stick with that kind of philosophy, should be pretty spicy. And the Solomon one should be pretty spicy. Yeah, the Pizet account. I have it. It's it's sitting there. Uh, I haven't done like anything on it. I, actually, I think I beat. I think I did beat Fuyuki because I figured no one wanted to watch me beat Fuyuki. But that means when we start playing it for real, we'll just start off with this. This will be like our you know our first boss. Cause yeah, I'm pretty sure I beat Fuyuki. Um. And I think I, I may have done a little bit of Orleans, but yeah, I, I figured I'd get some of that stuff done ahead of time because it's boring. All right, let's go Burgest, a Bargest or Burger Fest. Let's see, where is the garbage account? I forget. I haven't played it in a while. Yeah, I got. I gotta start playing my other accounts again. It's just it's been kind of chaotic, but we'll have time for them uh, again pretty soon. We got like tomorrow we could do it, and then uh, after the event, I'm sure we'll have a dead week. And we still got a crappy opening hand. That makes stars, I guess. I mean, it's not that hard to be Lion King. And you can always just, if you're actually stuck on something, you can, okay, game, you're killing me here. I hate, I hate the second hand because you're so likely to get a good hand on your unit. Like, you're so likely, and it's, it, I feel like so often I don't. Very frustrating. The event lasts three weeks. Yeah, but we'll probably beat it before that, right? I'll probably be done with it in like two weeks, depending. He had the challenge quest and all that. Well, I, I figure there'll be a week or two where we can just play alt accounts. And hell, maybe we play that event on an alt account. Maybe I play it on my main account off stream and we play it uh, on stream with an alt account. If it's a, if it's like, I don't. What's the requirement? What do you have to beat to to do it? Okay, well, we can just get our NP right now. Lost Belt 2? Let's see. The Spino account can do it. The Hurt account can do it. The Co-op account cannot. No way. Um, that sucks. I kind of wanted to play the Co-op account, actually. I mean, Cairo, aren't we both on Lion King? I don't I think I don't think he beat her either, right? Like, aren't we both just on Lion King? Because um, obviously, once I beat Lion King, I have to wait for him to beat it before I can start Babylonia. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting some hands. Do I want to just MP right now? I think I do. Do I want to do quick art? I think I do. Yeah, okay. Shame we don't have Merlin, but... 
Oh god, it's a crafting event. I take it back. I don't want to do it on an alt account. Oh my god, I take it back. Fucking Christ, I hate those, dude. So I will say that animation Burgess does is that they reuse that animation too much. Like George does it, Lancelot does it, she does it, and I actually and I think Bodica does it. Like that like sword slash, then you hit him up once and you like take the sword up. Like the, that's a completely copy pasted animation that they've used on like four fucking people now. Hopefully they don't do that anymore. That was all DW stuff, so hopefully hopefully Lasagna doesn't ever do that. I, I really dislike reused normal animations. I just like MPs a lot too, but like I think normal animations is absurd to, to reuse stuff like that. Okay, definitely want to do this. Um, okay, no point in hitting Jekyll. I need to get my NP though the second he transforms, but I think I can do Buster stuff here. So the art up only affects Geronimo. So I'd like to remove it, but I don't know if it's worth it. Orca do need to die. Is it worth- I don't think it's worth doing the buster up right now because I'm not in ping. So let's do crit down. Uh, NP gain? Yeah, we'll do NP gain. I, I, I hate passing that 60% crit, but... Hey, we, we crit anyway, and then she guarded- the, What if Bodica's magic resist? I need numbers. I, I swear, she's guarded our crit down like three times. There's not even a saber for crying out loud. Okay. I actually don't want to NP until next turn, really. I feel like it's kind of bad, but I, I do want the health. Yeah, I guess I NP here, and then I quick art, and then it's BBB nonsense after that. Do I heal? I want to do that heal at 60% crit. I'm doing it, but NP gain. Nope, I'm doing it. Cause it, it got the heal on it as well, so I can get like full health or close to. The resist is 12%, 12.5, that's stupid. That is so stupid. Like she's guarded it so many times. That's, that's terrible magic resist. And then we didn't crit. We also didn't do crit down. Magic resist D. This is ridiculous. Can he get an animation update? Okay. Time to murder Hyde. That's the wrong mouse again. Finally time to cast this. I probably should have cast it sooner just to get the health back. I should have cast it last turn. Yeah, I definitely should have cast it last turn. I'm not sure why I didn't, to be honest. Look at all these buster ups, though. I just... Oh, fuck! I gotta restart. Oh my god. That was such a misplay. Are you kidding me? I'm sure somebody noticed what I just did. Okay, let's just pretend that didn't happen. It wasn't going particularly well anyway, especially with me not, uh... Not casting the, the buster up to turn four. Uh, from what I understand, the stream last night like didn't reveal anything. Like, they didn't show the welfare, they kind of just said the event exists, which we already knew. So it seems like it was kind of a nothing burger. I can't say I'm too sad that I, uh, I didn't watch it. Yeah, they showed like, the art, but like that's not that uh, important. So yeah, that was not a great stream in terms of information, anyway. All right, I want to NP. Do I want a first skill for the damage? First skill for the damage. Um, no, because high transformation nonsense. Buster chain. Only a quick, but it's stars. I'll do the quick. Yeah, 
Yeah, it'd be nice if the welfare was something unique. It could be just about anything. Pretty, uh, I wouldn't mind if he stuck, stuck with the Vietnamese stuff, like add two at once. That'd be cool. Feel like you deserve it. Okay, I want this. I'll cast the second skill next turn. MP gain is good, crit down is good. I think we do this. There's no Merlin, but still. Only that R card at crit, that would have been amazing. I mean, it's pretty easy to be past Lost Belt 2 at this point. And 96%. Okay, we want to do our second skill. Do I want to do my second skill? Yeah, we want to do it now. I think that full health is good. Alright, I get my NP no matter what, so I think it's time for damage. I would have liked two Chris there. Get all those buffs. Pretty sure Zhu Fu or Zifu is gender bent, by the way, so she. Um, and. They were originally shown to be a silver, and welfares aren't generally silvers, so unlikely. Now, because lasagna's taken over and everything, the rarity at this point could change, but uh, hard to say. All right, Hyde. Gotta send you packing. And he's not gonna die this turn, but he'll probably die next turn, so we gotta remember that whole stun thing. Um... I think I gotta do BB. So we want to do this. Yeah, oh shit, that's super good because that means his stun won't go off until after the extra. Yeah, it's like it's like target switching, right? You have to do something like switching units or using an NP for it to have a chance to trigger. So that doesn't actually screw me. Although it's still I I whiff damage, but it, it was better last time. But whatever. Okay, we need to get our health back, pronto. I kind of want to do. Yeah, I'll do this, because I've got invulnerability. I don't have to worry about Boto just hurting me anyway. Hey, Sonic Brandon, what is up? Thank you for the 15 months, dude. Long time. Maybe the Melt CE will be new sumo? Yeah, right. Oh, you never know, though. It's not like anyone predicted Golden Sumo. It is funny how good Golden Sumo is when it's incredibly old. I, ca I don't have my heal this turn. I have to wait until next turn, so... I can do the command codes, though. Can't remove the buffs, either. Oh boy, this turn's gonna suck. Maybe I should have done my art card. I really want my MP next turn. Yeah, that was really bad that they got all those defense buffs on the one turn. I can't remove buffs, and then uh, I didn't have a removal command code either. Crap, and I didn't get my MP. That might. Well, it's not curtains, but definitely not good. Do this. Please don't resist the... He has magic resist right now, though, from Geronimo. Oh, we removed it! Perfect! Okay, got the crit down. And we gotta go fast. 
We might just need guts at the end. Stop with the damage! All right, um, let's try to target switch here or something. Do like, I mean, maybe she can kill? Attack, no, she just has buster up. She'll double buster up. 94k, three defense downs. Nah, she'd probably do a buster. Do that. Okay, come on. 70k. That mouse off the screen. No! Shit! And we needed to do damage to Geronimo. And first off, we would have removed his buffs, and that would have been good. But, um... We, we got to do as much damage as possible, so... Only got two actions per turn, but I don't think we're gonna have enough gas in the tank here. So close, though. She could definitely do it if she was level 100 and such, but I think she could still do it at 90. You just gotta find the right command codes, the right CE. Yeah, Geronimo is just gonna kill us with his NP, man. If you can make it to this point with a gut CE, I think you can win. Because we only need a little bit more time, like we're close. Geronimo, put the gun down! Why you gotta be like this? It's all ogre now. Wow, the crits though. Yeah, you could win it as I played it if she was a uh, higher level. But, uh, at this level I'd have to play better and have a better setup. Looks possible though, absolutely. Pretty tough. I don't remember this stage though when we want to put a, a knight unit to the test. This is a pretty good stage to try him out actually. It's a pretty tall order. M much harder than the dragon. Like this is absolutely harder than than Richard. Alright, let's give Tesla a go. I'm actually not sure how to play Tesla optimally in a solo anymore because of his skill changes. Kind of tricky. And I have absolutely no idea what to do about command codes. Let me think. Um, buff success chance is still good because you don't always have the first skill up when you do the second skill, especially in a solo. Um, let's see. Defense removal is pretty good. So I think we'll definitely at least bring one of those. Bring Aya. Okay. We could give Canis a try. There's a better shot at it than I, I thought she might, considering how well Burgess has done. Hard to say if this is actually right, especially because of the 50% battery. Hmm. Think, think, think. Crit down is still not bad. Like, Bodica can end you. I don't even know what card you'd want it on, though. I do feel like we're gonna focus on our NP a decent amount. I could do the NP gain one, that's not so bad, but it's not bad to work in some healing and that kind of thing. I think we want to work in some healing. So I'm thinking heal boost on art and heal on buster. And then quick. Um, maybe just stars. Do the heal one, but it's unlikely for that to matter. Okay, let me look at his passives real quick. Boost this one up. I really want to get that extra. These cost so much QP though. They cost the same as regular skills, so it's 120 million to get these to 10, 10, 10. But Tesla's extra attack is so cool that I obviously want it to do as much damage as possible. I 
Man, these colors are popping though with this new setup. I like it. All right, we'll stop there for now just because UP be killing me. Yeah, I need to really sit down and farm some QP, man. These uh, passes. All right, that'll have to do. Uh, it would not shock me if Gil could solo this, uh, especially if he's decently upgraded, because yeah, they're all servants, so he can just go nuke mode and uh, focus completely on AOE spam. And I, I could definitely see him. I'm positive he could do it if he's upgraded enough, right? If he's like level 100 or 120 or MP5, you know, the crazy stuff like that. The question is like, how how low can can he do it at 90? Can he do it at MP2, MP3? Like, what what what's the minimum? Uh, but yeah, the more, if he's upgraded enough, I'm quite sure he could handle it. He's like kind of perfect. Now, Tesla, let's see. I don't think he'll get his bonus against any of these. Yeah, Tesla gets bonus damage against like myth that's not real and gods and stuff. Where Bodica, uh, well, he might get it on Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah, he might get it on Jekyll and Hyde. But Bodica was a real person, so he won't get it on her. And um, uh Geronimo is a real person, so he won't get it on him either. And neither of them are, are divine related. Because, yeah, that. He get, Earth and Sky are like myths that didn't exist. You know, it's like grandiose myths, you know, fantasy. Uh, and Sky is generally gods, divinity, that kind of thing. Uh, every once in a while, someone has an attribute that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but. Yeah, he might get it on Jekyll and Hyde. Let me check. Let me see what Jekyll and Hyde is. Alright, FGO, hide, what? I wonder if their thing changes. I doubt it. I know their alignment changes, but... Their Earth! Yeah, okay, so he'll get it on Jekyll and Hyde. He'll will do the, his bonus damage there. I thought he might, just because I didn't think, you know, Jekyll and Hyde... Although it's not, like, super supernatural... Uh, it certainly, you know, is fantasy, right? So, makes sense. Okay. Uh, Atlas or default? I guess Atlas because of the stun. Alright, off we go. Yeah, Tesla's skill colors. Got one of each. Getting out of hand, man. Face the rainbow. Alright. Not a good opening hand, especially considering I'm trying to not use my third skill. Make some stars. Hopefully we do get a Medea in debuff. I think it could happen. Actually, I kind of expect it to happen. Uh, not necessarily soon, just because you never know with like who's getting attention when, but uh, I, I think they'll do it. But them doing it for Vlad and such. Uh, I think it'll happen. Alright, I got my NP from Leonidas dying. So I don't need to focus on NP game. Okay. I guess we go for our stun right off the bat here. Bad thing is, if I do stun them, though, my defense up is actually wasted, but... Kinda cry me a river at this point. You take what you can get. Focus on NP gain, I think. Uh, Tesla, unfortunately, does not have a BM combo. Like, they, they did not put in, like, a huge amount of effort into, like, you know, reanimating his body parts and whatnot. But, they put a lot of effort into his particle effects and his sound effects. And due to what, he, you know, Tesla is, you can get away with, with being kind of minimalist with your reanimating. Um, but yeah, they, they, they didn't go above and beyond. It's just what they did do was really good. 45, damn it. Funnily enough, if we didn't stun them and I got hit, I would have gotten my MP right there. Uh, I'm not even sure if it's worth using. Because I might be able- Nah, I could use it then to focus on damage and like Starge in this turn. That would have been so awesome if I had just looped it. But I guess we want to save it for Hyde anyway. Let's 
So I guess baby heal. That makes stars. Kind of a waste of healing, but with like 500 health there. Not crit. Now he can do the tornado outside of a BM. If you did like Buster Art Buster, you would do the tornado. Hell, I think if you just do Buster Buster Buster, like with your NP, I think you get the tornado. Um, we're about to find out though, I think. Because I think I'm gonna BBB here. I'm gonna take Hyde out of the picture. God, I love this sin piece so much. Yeah, huge damage on Hyde, not so much on the other two. No, I knew Hyde actually. Yeah, the uh, tornado is BM, I think. Okay, I'm wrong. Yep, I'm crazy. That's nice to know. Although, on the downside, I actually really like the tornado, and uh, uh, now I realize I'll almost never see it, so that's unfortunate. But hey, I'd rather have a BM combo than none at all. We need a bit more healing, I feel. I need to do heal boost here. I want NP gain. <laughs> That is the best extra attack, man. It's, it's, it's that and Karna's. A debuff resist actually sucks for me because, uh... With, with my stun boost thing, uh, I would normally have like a ridiculously good chance to stun, but with that, now it's kind of back to what it used to be with it being kind of... sus. Uh, I really want to cast my second skill, but I don't want to whiff my stun chance thing. This is why having the command code is still good. Because, like, I really want the defense up right now. Huh. I'm gonna NP next turn. Uh, RNG, let's go. Yeah, there we go. I mean, it's 80%, you know, it's not 60. Okay, so we want to do heal boost and heal. Can I get away with just doing the one art card? It's pretty risky. I think I might have to do a suboptimal turn here. I guess what we'll do is we'll do like quick at the end. Actually, I could do that and get rid of the defense buff, which is good, and then do the heal boost and then the buster, but then I'm not sure I'd actually get my NP. It's only one art card. I don't have my NP gain buff up. Their hit counts aren't the best. Hmm. That does suck, though, because I really would like to get rid of that defense buff, but... Um... I guess I'll do this. It's the best way to get NP gain and my heal. And the stars as a bonus. It should be enough to get my NP. Okay, we want to stun here. But unfortunately, they've got the debuff resistance, so even with our stun boost here, it's kind of wonky. I, I need Guts not to go off here. That's the important bit. Looking like, man, if I could get lucky, I could actually do my third skill in NP next turn, but Merlin's on cooldown by one, so you'd have to like get super lucky with crits. So I think we do that, unfortunately. We're definitely not going to win, but I want to get as far as possible. 
I think he would win though if he was getting his niche on at least one more of them. I don't think he'd have to get his niche on all of them, but he'd, he'd need to get it on like Bodica or something. But it's just not enough damage without it. Got a stun. I think Geronimo gets two actions per turn though, so that didn't really do anything for us. No, for Dunzo. Oh no, did I stun him too? Excuse what? Huh. I thought I only stunned Vodica. I mean, I'll take it. So I absolutely must stun next turn, so I have to get my NP no matter what. Uh, we have Merlin, though. Still think I should probably go full NP gain. Try to squeeze out every bit of value we can here. I, I think we're about to die, though. Like, our, our stun boost thing is, is gone, so our odds of stunning are really bad. Yeah, I guess Bodica also is, is the one that gets two actions per turn because she went first. I can heal boost heal, actually. Fuck it, I'm doing it. That might keep us in at another turn. If I stun one of them, it probably will keep me in it for another turn. Hey, Arjuna. Especially if we stun Bodica. Yeah, if we stun Bodica, I actually think we're pretty likely to live. If we don't stun Bodica, though, I think we're dead. Nope, didn't stun either of them, so definitely dead now. Good try, Tesla. Not a bad performance. I wish I could use Chad's units here. Because this is actually a really good testing ground for uh, night classes. Alright, let's do Canis. But yeah, if they had a new unit, uh, I, I, if I don't get them myself, we wouldn't be able to test them, so. Still got Richard, though. Hmm. What does she want? Maybe just her standard stuff? I'm not sure she needs anything special. Yeah, I need to turn the brightness down on my monitor a bit. The, the colors are actually popping a little too much. Like, shit. Mmm. Which one? I guess this one. What else? I, I, it's hard to say though, because the timing on killing Jekyll and Hyde might be really different for her, so maybe she does need the anti-stun. I have no idea. The problem with the anti-stun is it doesn't do anything outside of that one turn, and it might not do anything even on that turn. I guess I'll start with out, and if I see the way it, like the kill order goes, and like the timing goes, and I'm like, oh, I definitely need it, then I'll, uh, I'll switch it on. But I think it's more likely that you don't need it than, than do. What do I use for this last card? There's obviously damage, there's star absorb, there's another star bomb. There's defense ignore because of the... That, you know, honestly, that's not so bad. I mean, they have the double defense buffs. Yeah, let's try that. I really want that those crits to line up. He probably wants Atlas. Okay, look at that health matching the attack stat. All right, I'm gonna be right back, chat. I'm gonna grab water real quick.
All right, chat. Much like a bad headache, I have returned. All right, not a particularly good opening hand. Seems to be standard at this point. Also, who killed the music? Chat, I just tried to move the mouse over here to go to my second monitor, but it, it doesn't work that way. I was trying to fix the music, but yeah, I gotta, gotta use the other mouse. That is definitely gonna happen a lot. But hey, Chad, if they ever do a Leonidas animation update, we'll have it in glorious HD. You know, in the year uh, 2077. Okay, now there's a hand I can get behind. Let's see, we want to go ahead and do the third skill. I am actually going to go ahead and do the second skill because I want to crit next turn. Because I can make stars with my quick quick. I wish Zaw was here right now because he's got the Canis C. Uh... <clears throat> anyway, uh, he's got that thing so he can do like maximum star gin. I kind of wonder how many you can make if you do like quick quick with star bomb command codes. The second skill and then her craft essence. Uh, I wonder how that all works out. I could actually NP right now and then do quick quick. Huh, is that worth it? NP quick quick right now. I think it's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I almost wanna do the art card because then maybe you're able to NP. You know what, I'm doing it. That, that's gonna hurt my, my star gen quite a bit. But um, yeah, that could be pretty good. Uh, hmm. All right, hit him in the deck him in the schnoz here. We don't have our first skill up. Maybe I should have cast my first skill because uh, I think what I want to do is I want to cast my first skill next turn, crit, and then get my MP after that. That's that's definitely what we want to have happen. So I would have had like 40, like one 42 stars if I had done quick quick. This is risky because I might not get my NP next turn depending on what I do. All right, let me think. Because I don't want to do everything. I want damage, I want star gen, I want NP gain. I think I do buster quick art. There's not a lot of stars though. Okay, good, good. Come on, crit, crit, crit. Yes, yes, there's our NP. Okay, maybe I could have done quick quick then actually. All right, so we already have double crit buff this turn. So I think we do the 190 because it's the the likely value. The bad news is I'm doing all this damage and uh, uh, Jekyll's just going to heal it all back. It's like this NP is going to be glorious. It's got attack up, double NP up. This, this one will do a lot of damage, but yeah, he's just gonna heal it all. Look at that damage, though! That's, that's at neutral, chat! That's class neutral! God damn! Good thing we didn't attack Jekyll, though, with that, that crit, because that would have been depressing. He just casually heals for 600,000, you know? No big. Okay, we want to do this. We want that attack down so we don't die. We have to wait a turn to get our damage cut again, so that's kind of scary. Merlin is back. I think we do this. Um. Wow. Uh, goodbye, uh, Jekyll and Hyde. Okay, Bodica though, you really gotta be like that. Alright, I guess we just invulnerability. 
We didn't get our cooldown reduction because we were stunned. That that's kind of brutal. I guess I just killed Bodica. Oh man, if I if the NP kills, I I can put the busters into Geronimo, but I don't think they're gonna have no buffs. So I'll have double NP up. I don't know what to do. I don't I don't know what to do here. Because I don't want Bodica to NP if I can help it. We have to kill Geronimo really quick. Maybe I just NP and go for Geronimo, and if Bodica lives, we don't even care, and then we just kill her with the next NP. But then they get the defense buffs. Yeah, I could do one Buster NP, then Buster. I could also do one Buster NP, then Art, because it's a guaranteed crit. It's a lot of NP gain. I'm never getting my second skill again. We are getting our first skill, and that's where we... That's if Any chance we have of winning is critting with our first skill. Like, straight up. I might go for a second NP, then. I think we ignore Bodica, and we're gonna go for a double NP. I, I think that's our best bet. It's just a shame that um, Merlin's on cooldown. But we're gonna have to do a double NP and really big normal card damage to win, and then our command codes will have to bail us out from Bodica's uh, NP effect. Good. I gotta get my NP this turn. Or, or at, when, after their turn's done and I do my turn, that has to get me my NP. But I also need to do damage here. I can't, like, whiff it. This is tough, man. This stage is, is pretty fun to solo with night classes, man. You gotta work. Having to get maximum value out of my units. Okay, I think I attack up now. Maybe not because... No, yeah, no, I need to attack up now. Okay, so I absolutely must get my NP, but I also want to do a good chunk of damage. I think that's the pl I'd love to do Buster Buster Art, because uh, that's the best damage, because uh, you ignore the armor, and then you remove one of the buffs before damage. And then, if we crit with the art card, it'll work. If we don't crit with the art card, it won't work. 60% is statistically more likely to crit than not. So I'm gonna take the gamble. Chat, we're rolling the Gasha. No regret! No regret! Feels good! Alright, we might have gone and even if we didn't crit, actually. Fuck, Bodica! Bodica, you... Bitch, god damn it. If she had that, we, I mean, we still might win, but we, I, I think we definitely would have won if she didn't do that because of our damage cut. Guts wouldn't have gone off and I'd have one more turn. But she, she just loves Buster critting, dude. Why, why didn't she do that to the Romans, chat? Cause, cause if she had done that to the Romans, you know, maybe things wouldn't have gone so bad. Too, uh, too, too much, too much. All right, let me think about this. So we're gonna have double NP up, big attack up. Bodica has a defense buff. Is Bodica gonna die? Maybe, I think it's like right on the edge. The thing is, it doesn't matter. I can't afford to do a Buster card to Bodica. There's no way. I have to do everything to Geronimo. Yeah, I just... The hope for the best. I think we have to crit. If we crit once, I think we win. If Bodica dies to the NP and we crit once, we win. Because we have double crit up and attack up. Like, our crit damage is absolutely insane. If we don't crit, I think we lose. And we have 30-40, so it's kind of a coin toss right now. Okay, Bodica's dead. Fantastic. Oh, we got another defense buff. Fuck, we remove one, and then we can ignore the other, so it's for the other hit. Not too bad. Crit, 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 crit. Yes! Woo! All right, she might have killed that extra attack without the crit. I kind of doubt it. It would have been super close. That was hard as hell, dude. That I like that though. That was like the. That's like the Canis solo. That's doing everything right, and you need to do everything right, right? I, that like you have to cast your third skill early, like with the taunt. 
you've got to line up your crits perfectly there. You got to use your first skill and second skill right. Like that. That actually is very video worthy. Cause that that is like, it's there's no there's no stage gimmicks right. So you're not like a, you're not customizing your gameplay to to fit the stage. But that that is like the baseline how you want to solo with Canis, and you want to get as close to that as you can when you are dealing with gimmicks. Now obviously gimmicks can make you you know lose a value here, gain value there. Right, uh, so but that's like the that's how you're supposed to play Canis, right? Like that that was like perfect gameplay. So I wouldn't mind making that a video just because not only was that perfect gameplay and that's like exactly how you're supposed to solo with her, she barely did it, right? Like you, it, it was like right on the edge of what she can accomplish. So that that would make a really good video. Woo, though no, that was uh, that's impressive though because uh, Burgess failed. Although Burgess can do it, uh, like Burgess can do it. It's a little bit harder for Burgess. Even if Burgess was 100, I think uh, it, it would be close. Although if Burgess was 100 and 2k foe, she'd be pretty comparable to Canis there. Maybe just a little bit behind. But uh, you know, Tesla didn't do it and whatnot, so that does show just how good Canis is. Woo wee! Alright, um, let's see, what else we want to do here? We could do the Darius one, and we could just go play an alt account. Chat, I'll, I'll leave it up to you. Do you would y'all rather we start working on our alt accounts? Because we've kind of been. Even those in the dust for a while. Uh, do that, we stick around with like Richard or, or or whatnot. If I do play the old accounts, though, obviously our, our quality is gonna drop. But uh, oh, Romulus! Yeah, we could do Romulus real quick. I, I know it's not gonna work because one, he's in P two level ninety. It uh, doesn't compare so well to everything else we've used. But he's just not as good at soloing. He's not a bad solo unit, but I, I just know for a fact he's not as good at, at soloing as a lot of these other units we've used. But, uh, we'll still use him. I'll tell you what, though. If he was maxed out, like, you know, MP3 maybe, level 100, uh, he might do pretty good, because I'm thinking about it. He is going to get the Roman bonus like crazy. Um, so, I don't know, maybe I'm underestimating him. Uh, I don't think he's going to win, but actually, if he was as upgraded as, like, as Canis or, or Tesla, uh, maybe he could do it. Mm, I don't think single targets would do so good here. That there's a lot of yikes for single targets here, especially Herc. He just won't live long enough. But uh, the problem with Ku is, uh, you know, his bonus class isn't. Pr well, he he does get the bonus class for Hide. I, I, he could probably like, just obliterate Hide. Actually, um, I don't know. I, I might try it at some point because yeah, Ku might do better than I'm thinking. But I, I don't think Herc could do it. it. Just he can't live long enough. It's a lot of health to do at uh, at neutral, and you have target switch problems, and there's some gimmicks with the stun and all that. All right, so let me think. What does he need? He probably needs heal boost on art and heal on Buster. I think that's the way to go. Probably defense removal on something. That is such a powerful command code though, I tell ya. You can get so much value out of it. If you sync it up with the heal boost, you can heal for 2,000 every three turns. And like on its own, that's not make or break, but when you combine it with your own skill set and such, and the mystic code, you can get pretty crazy. Uh, I guess just straight stars on this one. Don't see us using the quick card too much. And then, I guess defense removal? It's either that or, arm or defense ignore, but I guess defense removal. Make the other cards do more. Alright. Off we go. Dude, I would be so happy if I could just get this mouse out of here. Again, I don't mind the mouse at all for streaming. But the setup I could use for my videos, my videos would look better, and I'd just... I'll probably just use it anyway. Uh, so I did a poll on my YouTube channel, because I, I can get this quality in another way. Uh, but if I do it that way, I have to use my screen's resolution, right? And your phone screen's resolution doesn't match YouTube, so there'll be black bars. I can edit out some of the black bars, like video editing, um, but not all of them. So yeah, I did a poll. People want the mouse cursor on the screen. Keep things as they are, or the black bars, and most people want the mouse courser. But man, I'd be so happy if I could get rid of it. 
Uh, yeah, at least I can move it off to the side and stuff like that, but... I'm, I'm excited to make some videos with the better quality. Especially Tesla, because, you know, Tesla's kind of great. Wonder how Romulus does against Darius. Dude, Darius is not easy to solo. Like, holy shit. So far, that's the hardest one to solo out of all of these. I think I've only got like one or two units that can do it, and they can only kinda do it. I don't think I have a, I don't think I have a single unit that would have like a 90% win rate against the Darius challenge quest if I if I soloed it. Obviously in a team it's not so bad, but yeah, I, I do not think I've got a unit that can really like easily just handle it. I think I do for all the other ones, but yeah, not that one. Shit is fucked. Do I have his passives? I have a passive. Well, it is what it is. My Chaco John 01, yeah, uh, I, I figured yours would, because mine got, I think mine can, and mine's just level 80, right? I think mine can, it just has to get really lucky. So I figure yours with pretty standard RNG uh, can, can do it, right, without too much fuss. Um, but yeah, I think she's, at level 80, she's one of my only units that I think can do it. She's damn good, man. Like, she is damn good. I really do like some of the options in the game now, though, because there's... You've got units like Canis that are really, really good. Overall, I think Chaco John is better, but there are times that Canis's gameplay style is just better for certain stages compared to even someone as good as Chaco Jana, right? But then Chaco Jana has got a lot of stages where she's way better for the stage than, than Canis would be. Uh, and I, I don't just mean those two, there's all kinds of units now. And there's some nice options out there. Now, there are some options that are boring, and like that's why I don't really like Kualter and stuff. It's just so straightforward, and there's no real apples and oranges there. But uh, yeah, there's some fun gameplay out there, man. I, I love the units that uh, you know, have to put in some effort, and they have to kind of... You know, time their stuff correctly, and but they can get, they have the potential to get absolutely insane value if you do it, do it right. Oh yeah, I pro yeah I could probably solo a lot of these with regular Joan of Arc, uh, but yeah, you don't want to do that, dude. I'm telling you, someone out there, I and I, I talked about this before, but I, I've never really seen anyone anyone do it. But I'm telling you, if you've got like level 100 or God help us all, level 120, Joan of Arc, and this is the big one, this is the thing that stops most people from really having that solo masterpiece, is Joan of Arc at NP5. Because then she gets a massive defense up and she can loop it, like stack it. Or at NP1, it's just a 5% defense up, that's nothing, it doesn't mean really anything. But when she's NP5, it's 25%, right? So. Every other turn, generally, she's getting invulnerability. Every turn, she has defense up. She's healing every turn forever, right? Like, that's absurd, right? Like, that's completely absurd. And she's a ruler, so she's taking less damage than most people. And that, that stacks with her defense buff. And then you also have command codes, right? She can have the heal boost command code, so she's healing more every turn. She can do damage cut, whatever the fuck, you know. Uh, and then you could do like formal craft so you're getting more MP gain and doing more damage with your art cards There's all kinds of options there. You can do defense up. Holy shit. I just thought of it. What the hell? If she's NP5 She if she's NP5 she has like a permanent 25% defense up if you're fighting a male servant She can have the 30% defense up craft essence So she that 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 that, that, that is so dumb that that 55% defense up forever and she's a ruler that, 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 and she's healing every turn, right? That is so, and she's invulnerable every other turn, at most every third turn. That is so broken. Like, I'm telling, and then you can go 100, level 120, so you have massive health, higher attack stat. Uh, you go full pause, so your art, like, chains are doing actual, actual damage, right? Uh, you, you get her, her passive for the, uh, the extra attack boost, right? And you get, you're getting, doing the three of a kind bonus, right, with the art chains. Uh, so at that point, see, if you do, like, level 90, you know, NP1, her damage sucks. But if you're level 120 with faux pause and the extra attack passive and, like, formal craft and all that, you're actually doing damage. Like, her, her, she'll be doing some okay damage there. Uh, and then her survivability is second to none at that point. Like, I actually think that's one of the best solo units in the game, is if you have a level 120 Joan of Arc NP5 with, with faux pause and all that. 
I think I'm unironically, I think that's one of the best solo units in the game. It's just not the fastest, not even close to the fastest. But uh, I think that could probably solo more, more stages than just about anything. And the MP5 is a big part of it, just because of... When you combine it all, right, it's, it, the, the total is, you know, more than the sum of its parts. When you've got that much healing, that much defense up, that much invulnerability, you're just, like, unkillable for a lot of the content, especially as a ruler. All right, absolutely abysmal opening hand. It would take, like, a whole stream to solo some stuff uh, if she was, like, level 90 and stuff. But if she's 120 with faux pause and with uh, the passive extra attack... Uh, it, it really wouldn't take that long anymore. Like, her damage at that point actually would be pretty, like, yikes. But, uh, yeah, nobody's actually got that. I'm not even sure a single unit out there is actually that upgraded for her. I hate to use Merlin here, but this is a really bad... O I actually need to restart because I forgot to cast a second skill. I think you want to cast it early here. It was a pretty bad series of, of cards anyway. Yeah, her, her uh, NP level effect is pretty wild. At default, it's 5%, which is useless, right? Like, it does I mean, I don't, I don't know what useless. Like, you're combining it with, like, mash. It's, like, a nice little extra oomph, but it's not that good. Uh, but at NP5, it's 25%, and now it's like, okay, that's actually rather significant. If somebody ever has a Joan of Arc that upgraded, or even close to that up that upgraded, I will definitely uh, try it out on stream at some point. But we normally have access to like, you know, NP1 level 90, and it's like, okay, well. Oh no, chat, my new setup has like, interfaced poorly with the app and it made the game crash, so we, lo we have to restart the stage. Oh no. How unfortunate, chat. So chat, I've never actually tried to get Mordred's bond up past bond 10. I've just given her bond grails because I know I farm with her a decent amount. And she's actually about to be bond 12. Like I have never put her in the back row to just collect bond. I've, I've never farmed with her just to get bond. I, I've only gotten, you know, bond with her through either like challenge quests, solos or whatever. Uh, and when I am, you know, actually farming with her because I, you know, it's useful to do so. And she's about to be bond 12, so. So that's a lot, of, a, lot, a lot of lasers there. Okay, now there's an opening hand. That's that's much better. And if you're going to put Merlin on cooldown, you want to do it on the first turn. So I'll take that. Good luck with exams, dude. Oh, I should like change. The music is looping, by the way. マスター。申し訳ありません。どうか。うん。Good hand. I don't think if I want to NP. If I want to NP, maybe if I NP, I don't actually cast my second skill. It comes down to if the extra battery would matter or not. Cuz there's a chance that it, I would just whip it anyway. Hmm. I think I cast it now. I think we make them Roman too. Hell, maybe I cast everything. No, I'll cast the, um... No, actually I am gonna do it because we got... Yeah, okay. Do I make... one of them Roman in advance? I don't think so because... No, no I do. Okay. I'm gonna say because of Jekyll and Hyde, maybe not, but it's it's still good. It's kind of funny that Bodica's immune to the gimmick of making you Roman in the Romulus Challenge quest, but she's not immune to the standard gameplay one. They really should have made it so she was, actually, in my opinion. I think it's those kind of like tiny niches and synergies and interactions are so much fun. So I, I think they absolutely should have like patched in a new passive for her. Or she couldn't be uh, affected by that. I'm honestly surprised they didn't, but, you know, DW. Okay, guess Atlas right off the bat. I need to NP as soon as possible. Unfortunately, Merlin says no. 
I may regret casting my second skill early there. Okay, we got a lucky crit. Got another lucky crit. Okay, that bodes well. Alright, this MP ought to be pretty strong. There are quite a few Romans here. I think I do art art. 80% crit though, and I could make another Roman. How many stacks are we at? It's, it caps at 10. We're at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then we count as 1, actually 2. So we're actually already at 11, so there's no point. The crit damage is nice, but I think we go for the art stuff. And maybe heal next turn. Yeah, ironically, Bodica is ultra Roman right now. Dude, imagine if he was NP5, because my Romulus is just NP2. Okay, now we gotta switch to hide. Hmm. Okay, I can make more Romans. I'm not sure I do my third skill though, I don't see a lot of... I mean, if I crit, it's great. I need to heal this turn, so I need to do heal boost. I guess I do it, if we get lucky. His hide needs to go. So knight classes actually get the gimmick here for hide. They don't obviously for the other two classes. Um, oh, that's oh my god! What are you doing? You're a berserker. Your crit chance is tiny. I still had invulnerability, and the other invulnerability was coming back. We could have lived quite a bit longer, and he was gonna die next turn. Hide, you bastard. Maybe I should have just done invulnerability that turn, honestly. I rejected Rome, apparently. Man, I wonder how far we could have gotten on that one, because that was a really good run. Let's, let's try again, but that was such a good run up to that point that it's going to be really hard to match that value. Yeah, I'm thinking I should have done my Mystic Code and Vulnerability there, but for real, Berserker's crit chance is tiny. Ruler Artoria can do it. That is, and now that I've looked at how it goes for the neutral classes, uh, yeah, I would expect her to be able to do that, because now that I've seen Kanus beat it and Burgess gets insanely close and Tesla do really well, uh, I'd say AoE rulers shouldn't have any problem. And she's a pretty damn good solo unit anyway, like, just in terms of her actual toolkit and such. Wait, no, no, what am I doing? Don't, don't attack that one. I am so happy, though, that we finally got our video quality better. That's that been bugging me for a while, and especially with Dex taking a nosedive. Although they literally fixed Dex yesterday, so it's not as big of a quality boost as it was the days prior, but uh, it's still pretty nice. I think I NP right now, and I don't do the buster up. But we do make some Romans. Let's see here. Uh, let's do that. Yeah, the colors are more vivid and it's like it's just less pixely. You know, it's easier to see like the facial expression on the servants, for example, because it's such a thin line, right? And a lot of times you wouldn't even see it uh, before. So it is definitely better. And it it, the big thing is it doesn't like artifact when you move the screen around like rapidly, where with Dex, uh, like hooked up the normal way, because this is still Dex, it's just decks in a way more complicated way. But anyway, um, if the screen like moves really quickly because of an attack animation or whatever, it doesn't artifact so much. Yeah, compression and shit, yeah. Uh, 
What am I doing? No real point in doing the Buster, although if we did happen to land a crit and got an extra Roman stack, that would be good. Last- yeah, no, we do it. Don't screw me with RNG here, game. It screwed me. We got lower crit chances than what we had before. I guess I do I do BBA and hope I get my MP? Because I need to do the Buster attack to just have a chance to get Roman. Damn. Had a nice crit there, though. Not crit enough, though. I think I may have messed up there. I, maybe I should have just focused on MP game. Woo! Calculated! Super close. Okay, definitely art on this one. Sadly, there's not as many Romans this time. Actually, quite a few less, but it's still a lot. Yeah, I saw the guard. Feels bad, man. Okay, now we have Max Rome. Ooh! How about that? Like an art crit. Alright, let's see. We need... Do I need to do invulnerability here? I mean, what happened last time was pretty weird, but I'm not sure there's ever another turn that I would take more normal card damage than this one anyway. So, I feel like we just do it. Make more Romans here. Weird that you can be quad Roman, but uh, you can. For one reason or another. Can I work in the heal boost? I could do art, buster art to get good MP gain and heal for the maximum amount. That'd be awful for damage, though. I think I do it. Boy, that's weird. Mmm. Ooh, Geronimo again, bailing me out. Although I guess I could just do my second skill, and actually I probably have to do my second skill. Yeah, I do, so it didn't matter. That means I should have done more damage then. Yeah, I should have focused on damage. That was a mistake. There's no way we're killing Geronimo in time, unfortunately. Oh, crud. Is our MP gonna do 384 when we have 10 stacks and attack up Buster up? If it is, I should do the quick card first on someone else just to do some damage, get some starge in. I'm gonna hope it barely doesn't kill him, because we are just in P2. And then I kill him with the art art, that way the stun doesn't screw me. Hey Romulus, just don't, just don't do too much damage here. Don't, don't screw me now. Oh no. Oh, uh oh. No. Oh, that's, that's gonna wreck our, our value dramatically there. That was damage, potential crits, loads of NP gain. We just didn't kill him there, it would have been fine. Because if you kill him with an art card, it won't actually stun you until the rest of the normal cards are done, so... That is unfortunate. Romulus doing just a little bit too much damage there. Fuck. Yeah, there's, there's really no coming back from that. We're, we're probably not gonna get our... We might get our NP one more time, but I think we could have gotten it two more times if that hadn't happened. So... Hmm. I think my heal comes back. Photoko with the damage. We might die this turn. Yeah, we gotta try to get our... Our health up and get our NP. I'd like to at least this NP this one more time. Oh, we got it. I would have already NP'd that turn though. I'd be like that turn right there, I would have been NP'ing if I had gotten those two art cards off. Wow, we just died. Rough. Yeah, I figured he wouldn't do as well though as some of the other units, but he's level 90, NP2, so. He might need to stun CC, but you could probably work that turn out 
where that didn't happen. I probably shouldn't have attacked Hyde the turn before. I should have attacked Bodica. I think is what I should have done. And then I, you should only attack Hyde on the turn that you NP there, because you're going to do so much damage to him. You do like, you do like 400k or something. Uh, so yeah. Okay, chat. Maybe we mix up the stage. I kind of want to... We've been using all of my units, so I kind of want to use... Someone from chat, maybe against Richard here. Let's see what, what people got. We haven't fought Richard in a little while. Oh, hey, Zerp uh, playing a little bit. Feels good. I know he's been busy with uh, real life stuff. What shall we use? Hmm. That art for uh, Sith. Kind of looking like a mess there. Oh yeah, Ivan is just so strong now. I don't even know what to say. They just decided to make Ivan OP as fuck. There's a fun one, MHXX. Uh, Lost, is yours stronger than that? Uh, you might be busy at work right now, so I don't know if you can set it up. But uh, level 100 NP2, I feel like you might have that beat. Cause aren't you like 90 NP5 or something? If you have time to put her up, we'll use yours. If you don't, we'll just use that one and see what happens. But, uh, there's our boy Beastly. Look at all this OP nonsense. I bet you Beastly's Burgess could solo that stage. I think mine could do it. It's just really close and you have to really min-max. Or with his being 100, I think he could just do it pretty straight up. A Fujino versus that stage. That'd be fun. And Q and, and all those. Yeah, we do need to do some single target people there just to see how they how they do. Yeah, that actually is kind of a fun idea. Alright, you know what? Uh, uh, let's use before we fight Richard. I'll use my Q against that stage, and then uh, we'll see if Lost is set up. And then maybe Fujino too, just because that's kind of that's a that's a big one. What would Ku want here? Let me think. Chad, I might be cheesy and use the Yang CE. I might, uh... I mean, single target is so... oof here. I wouldn't mind doing that. I will say, though, it's actually kind of hard for Mike. My Ku still is not, like, in the position where he really gets full value out of Yang CE, he needs his passive. Once he gets his second passive, and you have that extra 20% starting NP, and the Merlin command code and everything, uh, I think it'll be a lot better then. I think it's it's still an upgrade for him, generally. Like, if the fight goes on long enough, it's still a net positive, but it's not as much of one as it could be. So once, it's gonna be a while though. I need four, I need four more coup copies to get to one, uh, 120. And then I need a, a lot to, to get a second passive after that, so yeah, it is is gonna be a minute. No, not that one. I need the burn one. The lamp. Probably can get away with just two burn ones, just a burn one on Buster. Uh, there's that. Maybe just a crit one. Don't fuck with Star Absorb. Yeah, that's probably okay. All right, what else? Maybe the defense removal one. Yeah, definitely the defense removal one. I mean, if you're doing single target stuff, no question. I think two burns is enough. I think a lot of low star people, uh, for practicality, will do Spartacus. Um, but they won't use them all the time, right? Uh, just use them when they think it's applicable. The Spartacus is a very easy unit to just have at 60 and then have another one that's Grail. What sucks with my Q is I'm having to do all three. I've got a Q at 70, I'm working on a Q at 120, and then my ult account I'm trying to get Q at 100. Uh, so 
Because a lot of times you might want a Grailed coup, but you don't need a 120 coup, right? Uh, and if you can do something with a 100 coup, most people could fill that in with a 90 coup or even an 80 coup. Uh, where if it's 120, sometimes they could, but sometimes they won't, right? So uh, I kind of have to have all of the options. Just sucks because hero proofs. So many hero proofs doing that. Okay, yeah, the quality is good because I just put way too much time and effort into trying to get this setup to work, but it seems to work pretty well, so. What holds it back now is just the stream quality. Uh, you can only do so much with, like, your bitrate and whatnot. And also the game itself. The game itself just doesn't support super high resolutions and whatnot, so. But this, as far as I'm aware, this is about as good as I can get it. I can't find any better way, at least on Android. You can get better quality on, than this on Apple, but on Android, I, I don't think you can do better than this. I don't know, maybe if you yourself are a software engineer and you make custom shit for yourself, you might be able to, to, to do better, but for me, I don't, I don't, don't see if there's any way I could do anything to get it any better than this, and it's already a pain in the ass, so. Android just doesn't make it easy. Like, Android doesn't make it easy, then FGO doesn't make it easy, so... It's, uh, it's not great. What CE do you want on MHXX? That's a good question. And don't say sumo. I mean, if you got it... Uh, I think it'd be pretty good, Lost, because... Uh, it would make her NP do more damage, it would, uh, and like when you do Buster Art Art, it'll help everything. If you do, like, Art Art Art, it'll help everything, it'll make the NP better, she, you know, she can crit. So, yeah, if you got it, Lost, I feel like that is the best one. What, what, what could you possibly be mad at, uh, Lost? I don't, I don't know what the, uh, I don't know what the angry face is for. What, what did I do, chat? I don't feel like I deserve this. But uh, I'll leave it up to you, Lost. If you want to, like, go Yang CE, you can. Like, whatever you want to go with, uh... We'll, we'll go nuts. Alright, 15k, that's nice. I might actually want Default. I think healing might be good here, but we'll stick with Atlas for now. See what happens. But I have found, uh... With, with command codes and with, you know, getting to 120, uh, default is start is becoming better and better for Q uh, versus Atlas. Sometimes the cooldown stuff just doesn't line up anymore. That depends. It, it's been kind of it's been like 70-30. I think it's still like 70% Atlas, 30% attack up and default. Um, but that's that's a lot closer than it used to be, and I think it's actually going to end up being like 60-40 and maybe even 50-50. We'll have to see. Okay, that is. Uh, not a good opening hand. I'm just gonna bail out. Uh, <clears throat> Although really, that that wasn't that bad. Uh, the, the second hand is the one that matters. The, the first hand is pretty regularly going to be kind of meh. The second hand that you don't want to be trash because you actually have really good odds of it being good. Actually, a worse opening hand, but I think I kind of asked for that. Get our absolutely incredible, like, half an NP gain, maybe one NP gain, depending. I hit Geronimo, uh, might have even gotten two, actually, with the way it works. Okay, I'm, I, I, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying not to be a, a, a reset. Bastard here, but I mean, come on! Like they, those two hands were terrible, and the, again, the second hand is the one that matters. I hate when the second hand is trash. It's so frustrating. Yeah, I do. I do want to see Fujino here. The bump block might actually be kind of handy. Can Geronimo get an animation update chat and, and a buff? Because unlike some of the other crappy servants, he's really close. Okay, now that's a good opening hand. But he's really close to being good, right? He's not actually that far off because his NP is good. His NP is actually really good for a low star, but uh, 
And his second skill is good enough. It's not bad. Uh, it's just his first skill it does almost nothing, and his third skill does nothing, and that, that's really, really bad. They just need to do is like add an evade to his third skill, and then add like, you know, star bomb or a battery or a good debuff, uh, or debuff clear or something like that to his first skill, and then it'll be fine. So this is what I'm talking about, though. Like, if I had Q's passive, I would probably have my NP. Um, actually, I might get my NP anyway, but uh, that's because I've gotten really lucky. Uh, you could have less luck than this and still get your NP. Nope, I'm not gonna get it. But if I had his passive, I would get it. If I had my passive, I would have my NP right now, and I'd have the Yang Like That's so good. Um, Let's see here. I think I can wait one turn to Guts. It's a little risky, but I think it's alright. I wouldn't even need my passive unlocked, or, or leveled up, excuse me, I always just need it un uh, unlocked, and that would have been okay. That overcharge really sucks. Fujino can kill Jekyll before he transforms with her passive. Is it worth it, though? Because you could be beaten on Bodica that whole time and then, like, one-shot him, potentially. Uh, but that's pretty funny. Yeah, the question is if it's worth it. Probably not, <laughs> yeah. I gotta feel like it isn't, but that's really funny that she can do that. That cheeky hate carrying over. 100k at neutral. There's no stage gimmick there either. That's just 100k. It's like, okay. Reasonable. Normally you make like 31 stars there. Oh, it's because I, I got the other command code. That's why. There's a few gimmicks here. Uh, they buff their teammates when they die. Um, the main thing, though, is counterclassing is double both directions so like the enemy Bodica if she hits your caster she's going to absolutely obliterate them but your assassin will do uh, double damage to her uh, but yeah when they die when she dies she gives them defense up when he dies uh, I think he gives them art up or something I don't remember uh, and when he dies he stuns you uh, I think he stuns your whole team when he dies uh, also, Bodica, uh, I'm pretty sure, just does a Buster cards forever. I think Geronimo does art cards forever, and I think he does quick cards forever, which is really silly, but... Okay, Alter Ego does not get the, the boost. I think they actually do on Berserker Hide, but they don't on Assassin Hide. But I, I think Alter Ego does get the bonus damage on Berserker. They get the bonus damage on Hide, not Jekyll. But they do not get the bonus damage on either of these. Uh, however, they're still really good for this, so... Okay, um... I need to murder our boy here. I really wish my, uh, evade was back. I think I actually heal here to try to limit my, uh, chances of exploding the... the hide. I don't wanted to do that quick card just for some MP gain, but... Damn it! We could have killed him there! Oh, never mind, we killed him anyway. Because Ku's anti-berserker, by the way. I, I, I don't know why they gave Ku anti-berserker passive, but they did. And he got the gimmick, too, so... Holy shit, I took so much damage. Um... Let me think about this. Do I let Guts go off? Oh my god, I didn't get... Hide! I didn't get my cooldowns because of the stun. Oh god, maybe I should bring anti-stun then. Uh, I think I just let the NP take my guts and we just roll with it. I should have cast guts sooner then. I should have cast it like at least one turn sooner. I didn't think I would need to, but uh... Hmm... Do the tried and true or do quick quick. 
See, I'll only get attacked once. I'll get hit by Geronimo's NP, which is a three hit count. I should probably do art just to be safe. Although my extra attack boost actually makes my extra attack make more NP gains. It, it probably would have worked if I done quick quick. We'll see. It'd be close. This turn's gonna suck. Yeah, this turn's gonna super suck. I can't do an optimal combo and I can only remove one defense buff, but I can't like sit around and do nothing either. Yeah, uh, I wish I could have NP'd last turn. And I could have if I had if I had gotten this is what I'm talking about, chat. If I had Ku's passive to have the starting NP, I would have my first NP would have been a turn sooner, and I'd already have this other NP right now. And then I could have done it before they had the defense buffs. And then when I'm and then what I could do this turn where I do no damage is I could just do art quick quick. Like that's so much better. That's like a three turn value shift by just having Ku's passive. So, uh, he'll be so much better for this once he has it. Yeah, I'll be sure, once I finally get Max Q, I'll be sure to give him a... a test drive here. Alright, um... I guess I just do Buster... Do I just embrace the fact that I'm not using Quick 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 and do Art? Yeah, I think so. It sucks, but... Don't really got a choice. Guarded the defense down too. I might just attack Geronimo here and then kill her with my next NP. Dude, that stun fucked me up so much. It like it's really screwed up my cooldowns. But uh let's see. Yeah, I think I go well. We're not gonna win, it's more about how far can we get. Hmm. Maybe I just do art quick quick. I don't get rid of the defense buff that way, but... I wasn't gonna get a lot done that turn anyway. That was probably more NP gain than I needed, though. So if I had Q's passive, I still don't think I would win, but I think I could get a very noticeable amount farther than I, I'm getting right now. Um, I should've done that 70% crit. Cause I would- I, I'm- right now I'm not getting to crit because I, I can't work in, uh, quick quick quicks, but if that- that was just because of, like, the awkward timing with my NP, and with my passive, that wouldn't have happened. So, um... Yeah, I, I think with his passive, he could probably get Geronimo maybe to half health. Like on a good run, I think you could kill the two and get Geronimo to half. And that means when Q is absolutely maxed, he might be able to win. We'll see. It's not over yet. I think I saved PFA. So this... I don't know, on a lucky run, I'm telling you, if I got my NP, like that was no small thing. Like that, that NP not lining up. And, uh, it's easy to line it up if you do get your NP in time at the start. Uh... Yeah, that, that, uh, that's like a three turn value shift, I'd say, at least. It's about two and a half to three turns, I'd say, of value. We'll see how, like, how, how far off we are from winning at the end. That's crazy, though. I think Koo probably can do this. Uh, especially at 120 with his passive, I think he could do it. I want to NP next turn, but I want to sneak in some damage. This might not work. Getting really greedy. I, ooh, I, did, I would say I needed that 60% crit, but we got the 10% crit instead. That works. Now, I'm going to heal here because I've got one hit of uh, PFA, which will block the NP. Um, and then I have defense up. So I might actually survive the attack after the uh, the NP. And there's always a chance that he heals instead. Oh yeah, no, we would have won. If uh, if we line that NP up, we would have won. If I just get my NP. So yeah, if I had my passive unlocked, I would have won this attempt. Like, absolutely. 
Like that easily would make up for the amount of health that Geronimo has left. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, I, it's, it, I think it's actually possible for him to win without his passive. It's just uh, hard, right? You have to really... Things need to go very well at the end. But yeah, if I had my passive, we would have won. Ooh, we lived! Thank you, Defense Up and Geronimo not doing Buster Attacks. Unfortunately, we're still gonna die, but yeah, you can easily see what I'm talking about where if that NP thing was lined up. And I, didn't, and I was doing the quicks instead of the Buster nonsense. And look how close we are. Like, Jesus Christ, we are so close. Yeah, absolutely, fucking literally, we would've won with our passive. I, no question that would've done extra 100k. So yeah, it's beatable, but it, it's not... Your, your win rate, I think, would be pretty funky here. Uh, right now, but once once he's uh, got his passive and he's 120, I think his win rate there will be like 70%. That's pretty crazy. All right, MHX time. Go fight a dragon. How uh, how how is Fujino doing, Beastly? Because I kind of now that I just saw Ku do that well, and I can see that. It's possible for him to win. I suspect Fujino can do it too because she's pretty close to Ku in value. You know, there are little apples and oranges, um, but I think this stage actually might favor Fujino more than Ku because Ku's not getting any value out of his debuff clear, right? Uh, that's normally when Ku gets ahead of Fujino is when there's debuffs um, and Ku gets a lot of value out of that. Hey, hey, Hex, what's up? But because there's no debuffs, I, I suspect Fujino is actually uh, ahead. I, I think. I feel like it's possible. I'm not sure at all. He's got the Anti-Berserker and that's good, but she's a four-star, so... So I'm guessing it's like close. So she's probably getting pretty comparable value to what we just saw in Q, I'm assuming, where it's like she does well, but it's not like a guaranteed win. Uh, that's kind of... That, that, that's reasonable. So I, I think once they're both set up properly, they'll both be able to do it. Yeah, they're, they're, they're fucking monsters, man. It's crazy. I bet you Kama can do it too then. Like if Ku does that well, I think Kama can do it. Yeah, oh yeah, actually this is this stage is really up Kama's alley actually when I think about it. Um, so Kama can definitely do it. Yeah, there's so much in Kama's favor there. What are other big boy solo units? Let's see, there's Enkidu. Not as up his alley. Um, he could probably do it at like 120, but uh, maybe not below that. Um, Gramps? Uh, maybe. I mean, BDB is actually pretty good there. Gramps would probably be cutting it close. But he is a 5-star. So, yeah, Fujino's not 120 yet. That's gonna be really hard to get her to 120. Uh, but at least she's a 4-star, so she gets the slightly higher stats. Yeah, I feel like Gramps at 120 could do it just because 5 stars at 120 is dumb. But if it's Gramps at just 100, he might not be able to do it. Hard to say. I'd, I'd be cutting it pretty close. But, I don't know, on a good run, he might need a bit of luck, but I could see him doing it. Gramps would be, it'd be close, though. I think he'd be really cutting it close. I don't think he'd do as well as Kama, by any means. Uh, all the rulers will be fine, because they're not actually at neutral. Um, so I, I think just about every ruler can solo it. Because, uh, I mean, fucking Summer Artoria did it, so... I'm sure, like, Joan of Arc can do it, and Mothman and stuff. I think all the rulers can do it. Luvio, uh, oddly though, might actually be pushing it just because she doesn't have part survival. Just, uh, even though she's such a good unit, that is kind of a weird stage for her. But she probably could still do it anyway. Uh, cause she'll one-shot hide. Like, no question she'll one-shot hide. Um... And she is a ruler, so she takes, like, no fucking damage. See, I think all the rulers can do it. But it's not really fair comparing rulers to nine classes there, because like rulers are obviously really advantaged in multi-class situations. That's like when they excel. Oh, it's way harder for night classes. Like, well, that depends. Because most of the night classes are gonna have unless you've got like that gimmick where you get to ignore one of your counter classes, which only a few people have, the other one is gonna murder you. Right? Um what it's easy for is actually extra classes. The extra classes are the ones that I think have the easiest time with it, like Alter Egos, Ruler, you know, even Avenger. Those ones are going to have the easiest time with it. Like, it's it's quite easy for them, honestly. Um, but yeah, for Calvary classes, it's weird. They'll just delete one of them, they'll just delete Hyde, so they delete two of them, but then they have, like, the worst 1v1 ever with the one that's left. 
So like two out of three is a joke for them, and then the one out of three is a complete nightmare. Um, does she want default? I don't- hold on, let me look at her skills. Wrong mouse! Okay. She's five, four, five. Those are so short that I feel like she's gonna get her skills two times no matter what. And then Atlas might not actually make it shorter to get them three times. What do you think, Lost? Yeah, I, I feel like she might get her skills three times. I, I mean, she probably will get her skills three times if I use Atlas on the second rotation. Is that better than getting them two times and then having the default stuff? But the, hell, the heal might even buy you enough time to get them three times. That's tough. This is really tough. Because she's got heal boost, so default's heal is actually really big. This is a really tough call if we do default or atlas. The dragon's debuff is pretty annoying though. I tried default. I think we're just gonna do both. We'll start with default, but uh, yeah, I think it's worth doing both. I think with atlas, what you do is you don't do the cooldown reduction on the first rotation though, you do it on the second one, I think. So, Kuratsugu would be super fun in that stage if they gave him, uh, like, the, the anti-caster thing. That, that would be really fun. So, Nero Summer is outrageously good for that stage. Because AoE has an easier time, and then she's got the classic Nor thing, so, and she's also one of the best AoE casters anyway. She's kind of like Canis, where she's AOE air quotes, right? Um, so yeah, I think Nero Summer would absolutely- that would just be a cakewalk. Alrighty. Wow, these golems look really good with this higher quality, man. Too bad their animations aren't up to snuff. Golem animation update win, and then make them playable. I'd grail one. I'm not- I'm not kidding. I would- I would grail a, a, a golem. If they got like a full move set and uh, you know skills and stuff. Oh wait, what was our craft essence? I didn't look. Is it Yang? I presume it's Yang because we have burn there. Yeah, no, fucking Faker got it before Kurutsugu. It's stupid, dude. I forgot to bring a rash, so I need to actually kill these guys. Whoops. That's not good. Yeah, I just completely forgot to bring a rock to get rid of the golems. And I could have probably dealt with that if I was actually... I don't know if that first turn... I could have done a buster card, I guess. I think we're all right. Yeah, it worked out. We're fine. If she hadn't killed that second golem there, though, we would have been screwed. Um, I want Star Gen. I don't want to waste that heal, though, so we'll do... I will do that. get overkill, so that's something. This crit, is that, oh man, overkill quick cards that crit can make so many stars. I think there was like a, a green golem at some point, like a dark green one, I think. He kind of did something like that. He's kind of a, what's that, what do you call it? Not, not exactly emerald, but I think that was a thing at some point. All right. God, I guess we do our first skill. I think we do our second skill. Don't think we do our third skill. Yeah, we don't do our third skill. Ted, how's the game volume? It's, I think it might actually be a little low. It's harder to adjust the volume with the setup I have now, but I can do it. Um, Let's go. I guess I do the attack up. Is it kind of high, actually? Like, hold on, let me listen to this. Also, let me see. Are you all hearing what I'm hearing? Sometimes, like, I have the volume set where it's not like that. You know, I, I've got it. You all actually hear it slightly quieter than I do, but, like, so slightly, it basically doesn't matter. Yeah, that, that song is a bit loud, but that that's... 
What I more care about is like my mic relative to the game volume. That's what I care about. See. It is so much harder to change the music volume now. That's probably the hardest thing. Because the game volume I can actually just change in game and that's not a big deal. I think I cast this. We got crits and our NP. That seems good. Alright, what's the play though? We need to apply burn first. That sucks though, because the only card, what I want to do is this buster card, NP then art. But this is the only one that doesn't have a guaranteed crit, so I do the wonkiest art chain of all time. Is that worth it? Do I actually care about the the, the, the Yang CE? It's 40% damage. 40% damage, and I lose an art crit on NP gain. Maybe we can loop with just the one art card with our third skill. I have no idea. Well, well let's find out. I, I don't think we can loop with with one. We need two. I think we actually be pushing it with two because the dragon's hit count is really low. Yeah, we we would uh, we could do it though. If we do. I so I think it would have been better to have done NP art art, even though we would have missed out on a bunch of damage. Question is, do I do even do my third skill now? It's 30%. I feel like I can get my NP next turn without it. However, I could focus I could do a quick card this turn if I did it, maybe. Yeah, I think I do it. Don't need to heal, so I think we do Buster Art Quick. Uh, I should do heal boost. That's not too bad, the way that worked out. I wonder if she wants crit down. If he does crit you, it's pretty terrible. I think we're gonna whiff some of this heal, but... I think that's for the best, using it right there. Alright, this turn's obvious what we do. Nice and simple now. Guys, it's Slash Emperor. Totally. Damn, ugh. I needed one crit there. I really wish it wasn't so hard to zeet the app, but it sounds like from after this stream I'll be able to set it up where I can close the app with my mouse button, so that'll be pretty great. I don't know though, we might want the Atlas Mystic Code, just because that dot coming up from the boss is going to be pretty annoying. I think I heal here, and I don't think I actually do the heal boost, I think I do... Well, I could do... Yeah, that's fine. The wonky ass thing, but... Not that important to do normal card damage that turn. Ninety-three percent. So if I could have done like art quick art, we would have gotten our NP. Damn. Is it worth it to make stars this turn? I don't think so. I think you want to crit with art cards next turn. So I want star gin this turn. So do that. You know, at least these burn command codes are, um, they're adding up. You know, we're obviously using them to just enable the Yang CE, but they're doing some damage, so it's not too bad. Over the course of the entire fight, there'll be, a, you know, a couple of extra attacks in value. Alright. Bang, bang. You know, at this rate, I could have cast the Evade on turn one and had it be come back at the end and kept cast it twice. That's so rare that it works out that way, though. Not 
136. It's pretty great at neutral. Be sure her MP does the bonus damage to Saber thing. This is where it's gonna get bad though, that dog. And it really adds up. That's where Atlas, you can just boom, remove it, and it's pretty good. Alright, we can loop. We could have done that the first time if I had just uh, done it right. So I need to do that buster at the end. It's a little awkward, but it's worth it for the heal. She's actually going to heal like 8,000 health in total from those command codes. What I need to do is make sure I heal boost and on the mystic code if I can heal a second time. Looking like she's gonna win though. Oh, maybe not. I just had to say something, didn't I? That's where the, I was saying that crit down command code might be the way. I need two turns. I can guarantee one. Uh, we're gonna be just short. If we just live long enough for this heal to come back, we would win. Because with the heal boost, it's uh, 4,500. But yeah, I think we're gonna die now. What's the best option here? I guess NP gain. Yeah, our one chance is if he, he decides to cast a bunch of skills, but we're still going to take the dot damage here, so we're really low. Okay, if we live this turn, we win. Like, absolutely. Uh, if he, well, there's a double buff turn. If he just does that again, because I can survive one normal attack. I can't survive a crit, but I can survive one normal attack, but I can't survive two. And then next turn, though, we're, we got the big heal, and we probably have the damage to kill him next turn, too. Well, good luck, kiddo. See you, Otto. Oh, wait, no, you, you said I'm off work. I thought you said I'm off to work. Okay, I got that backwards. I mean, you, know, you get home and everyone's like, bye. Yeah, we can get Fergus to go. That sounds like fun. Let's see why not. Look at this. We're going to heal for 4,500 if we just don't die here, but we're probably going to die here. No! He just done a buff. Oh, definitely beatable. Definitely beatable. I wonder if Atlas would have been better. It's hard to say. And also, there's crit down. I do feel like when the fight is that long, I feel like working in crit down is good because if it prevents a crit or even maybe two crits throughout the run, that's a huge health shift. Uh, Bella QP, thank you for the 10 months. Long ass time, I appreciate it. Pretty sure you lurk. But uh, yeah, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see if Otto's got, uh, he, he might need a second to do command codes and whatnot, so. I've had some pretty fun fights today, though. I really enjoy these new advanced quests, man. And the fact that like they're, they're pushing Canis and, and Ku that far and stuff, like they're a lot, Harder than I thought, and uh, especially the Darius one. That one's just nuts. Tell you what, we'll look at someone's account while we wait for auto. Jesus Christ. Okay, what is what is going on? What the hell? Wh what the hell? Like, first off, why Heaven's Feel? I know she NPs a lot, but still, I don't think that's better than, like, starting NP and things like that. Like, if it was Limit Broken, maybe. A Limit Broken Heaven's Feel is not so bad. But a non-Limit Broken Heaven's Feel? Like, okay, did this guy, like, is this, like, a, a starter account? And then they, they started Deering Camelot, and that's why they don't have good CEs? But then why are there no CEs at all? Like, even, like you could do Ley Line or Jeweled Sword or something. Like just put Jeweled Sword on Chiron. But it's obvious that they put like all of their effort into Dragon Lolly, right? 
but then I'm sure they have something better than Heaven's Feel. And then everyone else is so scuffed because their skill ranks are bad, their CEs are bad, two of them don't even have CEs. Um, that NP, I got his NP5 Percival because he rolled on the dragon. Oh, he's Grail too, actually. I, uh, I don't even, but that's a, that's a hell of a, a dragon lolly already, though. You know, 120 right off the bat. I mean, a, a, a starter account can get a 120 in, in like a day because gold servants are, aren't actually that hard to get to 120. Like, you can literally do it in a day if you farm a lot, right? Like, the XP is the part that's gonna slow you down, but, like, the coins and everything is easy. Like, you just you just roll a lot on uh, on the rate up, right? Like, that's the thing. Gold units are not hard to get to 120. They're just, they're just not, right? It doesn't work that way. Like, you can literally, like, get a starter account, roll a whole bunch, Boom, there's your coins, right? And all you gotta do at that point is like beat the first few stories, right? It doesn't take long to get some grails from just doing 1.0. So you do fucking 1.0 and like the event that's happening when you start the game. And uh, now you got enough grails. So all you need is XP. But uh, obviously it does take a long time though to grind 120. Let's see how Dachi is doing, or Dachi is, is doing. We got, uh... William Tell super close. Probably needs two more copies of William Tell and he'll get, uh, 120. How's he doing on the passives, though? Okay, no passives at all, though. Uh, that's, that's still got a long way to go. But almost 120. Got max level... Painting Summer, which is good for him. 2k foe. I think he's got foe paws. Yeah, he's got foe paws, very nice. But one day, this is going to be maximum William Tell right here. So what else does he got? And he's got... That must be so weird that he's also a Robin Hood fan when they're so similar. Now, he likes William Tell more. Are you here uh, in chat? Because you, you clearly... I'm sure you've used both of them plenty, right? And you probably even used them on the same team, which that actually must be nice. If you have Castro, Toria, William Tell, and Robin, right? That's actually really good. But I, what I want to know is, does the 100 Robin outperform the, the 118 William Tell? Because I suspect he does. I know how this game is, and I, I suspect he does. Even though William Tell is upgraded more, uh, Robin is just so good. So Robin's not 2k foe yet, though. So there is a pretty big stat difference there, but he's on the way. Um, and he is 10-10-10. He's got some passives, though, so that's not bad. Yeah, these are some unique picks, though. I li I I've always wanted to Grail Robin Hood. The only reason I don't is because he's so good at 70, and I like showing off how good he is at 70. But uh, I'm a, I love Robin Hood. I think he's a great character. I love his voice actor. I love his like characterization. You know, I like his stage one a lot. Uh, it's great gameplay, right? Like he's awesome. And look at all this green on the screen. I mean, goddamn, dude. Uh, and even though he's got one of the older animation updates, I think it's. It's held up really well. And we also got Hector here. Now that's that's a that's a very unique one. Also 1,200. And okay, not so good on the CE there. I'm surprised you don't have better than that. Okay, we got some passives. Not bad, not bad. All right, auto's ready. Let me just. I know. Uh, also got a big curse arm here. I'm 2k foe, so that that one's really far along there. And got the extra attack passive. Yeah, these are. This is a nice account, man. This is. This is very unique. Uh, you know, very prepared. A lot of good craft essences here. Good command codes. Yeah, this is super unique. And obviously, Mordred. I uh, always approve of Mordred hype. Got super Luvia here with MP4. You know, just vanilla level 80, but still at MP4, it's still going to perform really well. Okay, let's get that Fergus. Assuming he's saber or uh, all slot. Auto would actually show up in my my damn list. That would that would help. Yeah, that's a great account. Sadly, I don't think uh, he's here today, but he he is in chat pretty often. But uh, that's some good stuff. Oh, it's on your alt. God damn it! Let me do things. Maybe you, I've already got an invite though. That would. Uh, Make my life a lot easier. Nope. Well, you can just, uh... 
Wait, you are at it? Fucking fuck. I don't know what the username of your alt is, though, so... Kinda hard to tell if I, uh... Get it or not. Oh, I was followed. Alright, well, let's use a different unit. We'll just wait for you to send an invite. Let me make sure there's room. Uh, sometimes other people are sending in invites and it gets full. The JP ones are normally just randoms. I feel bad, though, because he's probably like, Oh, hey, I like this guy's units, and you just want to use them. I wish I could add everybody, man. I really do. Uh, they said they thought about adding a favorite system though to the friends list, so if that happens, I'll just I'll go up to my cap. Um, that's a hell of a, that's a hell. Okay, you know what? This is just sad though, because Charlotte is kind of a a weak unit, but I, I respect Gambler's hustle here, so we'll uh, see how she does. Charlotte's load. Do people really prefer Smoge over Sag? I like, I'd always add it, but, uh... It is kind of derivative. Yep, no around Arash again. Thankfully we killed one of them, so it's okay. I mean, more times than not, you'll kill the golems in time, but sometimes you don't, and it's really bad. Uh, that doesn't normally happen. That might actually be a good thing, all things considered. Yeah, almost never do we see George live there. I'm sure it's happened before, but... Oh! Um, okay, Leonidas, we actually need you to kill this golem. If you don't kill this golem, uh, Charlotte's gonna get punched in the face. Uh... So work with me, buddy. Hey, yeah, oh, no problem. Look at that. Yeah, Anti-Berserker, let's go. That, that's our boss killer right there. That man could tear through Fuyuki with that kind of damage. Do I want to cast the Evade early? Yep. I guess... Hey, we got crit down. That's good. Uh, that's like no, no joke. I wish that Anti-Servant was Anti-Dragon instead, but... Uh, yeah, I'm happy to have crit down here. This song is pretty fucking incredible. I hope the new Gundam is, is good. It comes out really soon, and it's a full show. I really hope it's good. Okay, art up. I like it. Great hand. Let me like move my microphone a bit. I'm a little farther away from my monitor than normal because the game is so vivid, it's a little much. Yeah, there's a new Gundam show starting in a few days. Uh, Gundam's been in a pretty bad spot for a while, so I don't, I, I'm, I'm worried, but I hope it's good. Hmm. I want to do that crit down, but I want to take advantage of the art up. It's probably worth doing regardless. Uh, we don't really know anything about the plot. There's just like a very vague teaser that shows like the main Gundam, and uh, I mean they don't. We don't know Jack, so well, that's probably for the best. Considered. 
We are absolutely gonna die, though. Gotta make sure this guy never crits us, because that'll just instantly delete us. And I'm not sure we're gonna live to the NP. We might. I mean, our R evade's coming back, so that's something. He needs to not do a lot this turn. I kind of want to do art quick art. Uh, maybe art quick quick, so we might crit. She's got Merlin. You didn't crit with the 80% lady! Well, there's my MP. Of course he triple attacked. We could theoretically die this turn. It's very unlikely though. He'd have to like super high. You'd have to attack three times and get like the highest high roll he can get. Uh, or he'd have to crit us uh, on his third action. If he crit us on the first or second action, it wouldn't matter. And if he buffs at any point, we're also fine. Like the odds of us dying here is so low. Like he, ha he has to triple attack and uh, you know, he can't ever buff. He can't mid roll or low roll, uh, you know, there's so many things in our favor here. And like, it's really likely that he buffs this one time. So the odds of us dying here is super small. The, the, I should have probably just evaded though first because he could attack once and then we are so screwed. And it's I can't then cast the full evade. So I should have done the full evade first. Yeah, that, that's like the meta play for him is, uh, is attacking one time. If I was playing the dragon, I would do that. I would attack one time and double buff. And then next turn, I'd attack three times, and then, uh, you win. I'd either that, or I'd attack three times and hope that I crit, but I know the crit chance is so low that I probably wouldn't do that. Okay, that's not, that's not good. Woo! Oh my! Alright. We lived, though. Look at him triple attacking, by the way. And critting, but thankfully it wasn't on the third action. And he actually did high roll, but he did I don't think he high rolled as high as he possibly could, but he did high roll on that third attack. So that that was a very bad timeline right there. Hey gambler, we uh using your Charlotte. Gambler, yesterday, I don't know why I didn't fight you with Claymore. I, I when I was going to bed last night, like I, I was trying to sleep, that just came to me. I was like, why didn't I use Claymore? Because you were using your know, great axe, which isn't very good, obviously. And neither is Claymore. So I'm like, why didn't I just fight you with Claymore? That, that would have actually been fun, because then we both could have done like our R2s and shit. Yeah, I think this is Charlotte's best performance against the dragon. If, if you could, uh, Gambler, uh, DM me her final results here, and I'll update the uh, Google Doc later. I'm not gonna do it like right now, and probably not right after the stream, because I'm gonna like eat and stuff, but uh, yeah, if you could like DM me what her final result is. I think I bust her NP here, because it's actually better than triple. Like, like three of a kind bonus is still better when you do. And besides, we got the the faux paw on Buster. So we would have done even better if our command codes were tailored to the dragon. But uh She still did really well. Yeah, that probably is her best performance. I think it, with better command codes, and if like maybe we just got an extra crit here and there, we could probably have made it to 730, maybe 725, but somewhere in there. Also, he died to the dot, but uh, what are you gonna do? Alright, now it's time for Fergus, which is what we were supposed to do in the first place. But yeah, we'll have to do Claymore versus X soon. I think that'll be fun. Because that, that, that's so impossible fighting. Like dual rapiers or dual swords or dual whips or something with a great axe. There's just no way. Oh wait, you have to, I have to get the invite. Hmm. Did, did it fill up? No, we're only at 14. Is he not in the all slot? Cause I don't, I don't, I don't see no Fergus. It's Gilius. You lied to me. Also, that that uh, I get what you did there. By the way, auto like autopilot, right? And then manual. I I I I, I get it. But, uh, you, you 
cheeky shit still. My favorite though that I think I've seen, it's a hard call. There's, I, y'all gotten pretty clever with some of these, but I, I really like Max Failure. That, that's so good. Like, that, that's, that's super good. But, uh, that's not, this isn't too bad either, I guess, I'm not gonna lie. Alright. So, I presume you want me to do default because you did anti-dot. That must, yeah, that, that must be the way, I'm surprised though because then why didn't you do like heal boost? Although it's an ult account, so maybe you don't have heal boost. Um, hmm. Uh, yeah, I guess default. We'll, uh, we'll go with that. My main doesn't even have it? Oof. Sounds unfortunate. Alright. I didn't bring a rush again, so... Gotta try to actually kill these. Thankfully, we've got the starting NP passive, so it's not too hard to... to get our NP in time. Actually, we're guaranteed to get our NP because of the, uh... CEs. Is Discord dead? Let me look. Seems fine for me. Yeah, Discord's fine. I can see people talking and I just said something and it went through, so... Could be a local, uh, server issue or something, I don't know. I need to kill one of these. Go for the one without the defense buff. Okay, um... What's the play? I guess just do quick last and make stars. I can't believe green is dead like Discord. What the hell? Alright, got some, uh, decent crit chances here if we get lucky. Let's fucking go! Come on, if we get crits here, we get defense down, double attack up, buster chain, first card buster bonus, three of a kind bonus. RNG that I wanted there, but Did we just BBB? I, I think we just BBB yeah, There's a crit Do I heal now and try to get it to come back? Yeah, I'll whiff some of it, but if we could like go around the wheel, it'd be pretty great. She did 300 less than Kojiro, feels bad. And uh, uh, we haven't even used Kojiro that many times here. I'm quite sure we've used Charlotte here more than, than Kojiro, so Kojiro is probably capable of getting a better run too. Yeah, it's no, it's not a meme that Kojiro is very similar to her, but better at everything. That's that's just very much how it is. You don't need a uh, to see the truth in that one. Um, although for some people on Reddit, I don't know. Faux paw that's maxed or the crit chance. I mean, you got to crit sooner or later.
Ugh. I think he wants crit crit down. Like the again, the fight's long enough that you want um you want to be applying that crit down over and over, so you just don't. Because that one crit just sets us back. I think we're gonna just barely not get this to come off cooldown. Probably MP next turn. Although I need to do the ah uh, shit. I, I don't know if I should have done the attack up because I need to do the um the buff removal stuff, uh, the debuff removal stuff. Well, we do get our NP, but I kind of need to remove that buster down. Do I do art first? Oh god, that's so bad for Fergus. I don't... I don't think we NP here then, as shitty as it is. Whoops, uh, no. Um, but here, the thing is, if I don't NP, I'm gonna whiff some of the defense down. And we want the defense down, because it adds up. But I don't want to NP with, with buster down either. All right, I think I do it like this. It's so painful, but uh, I think we just have to suck it up, do the NP with the buster down, get the debuffs, clear our debuffs, and then just DVD for the last turns that we have. It is nice getting rid of those debuffs, though. Okay, I really want this 40% to crit because it's got the faux paw. Yeah, there we go, 32k, it's pretty good. He's doing really well, and this is with suboptimal command codes, and I'm not sure we got the best value out of our mystic code either. One turn and we can heal. If we had the heal boost, like both heals could have been heal boosted and we could have 3,000 more health after the second heal. It's so like wherever we're at, we could have 3,000 health more than that. And also, we could work in the heal command code, and we could potentially have like 4,000, 5,000 more health than where we're going to be at. Pretty great for a 3-star, though. Especially because he's AoE, right? If he was single target, uh, you'd expect maybe more out of him, but out of for AoE, it's very good. And again, our command codes are nothing, nothing special. Well, we are gonna die soon, but we are getting a pretty, pretty solid uh, performance here. And we didn't even get those crits with the attack, double attack up the defense down turn. Yeah, I think a, a proper Fergus can probably do this. I think uh, like if he's upgraded enough, you have the right command codes, you get a little lucky. I could see him being able to beat this. I don't know if he could do it at 100 though. You might have to do 120. I don't know. We'll see, because I mean, 300k is still a, a sizable amount of health, but... We could have lived long enough to have gone around the loop again, like, and gotten our skills back again, I think. Because we almost were sur survivable enough to do that. It was super close. That was good, though. That, that's, that's respectable. Okay, boys. Um, I want to stream Elden Ring today, but... Uh, the, the, the streaming meta thing to do is you just switch, because then some, you know, you, you don't lose... Like as much, uh, you know, viewers and, and like, you know, it's watch time and, you know, analytics and all that. But I don't care. So I'm going to take a break. I need to eat. I'm just going to like relax for a little bit because I got a bit of a headache. Uh, but then I will be back in like maybe 30 minutes, something like that. And we'll play some Elden Ring. Uh, and it was a little bit shorter of a stream there, but I, I just got a bit of a headache. I've kind of had it all day. So I kind of want to just relax for a bit. Um... Tomorrow, we'll either play an alt account, or we'll just maybe take a break from Epco for a day so I can do some Elder Ring bullshit. But obviously, we've got the event coming up, and we'll be streaming that. Uh, let me just grab this SQ real quick. Well, my SQ is pretty low right now. It feels bad, but what are you going to do? Anyways, thank you for hanging out, everybody. For those that are interested in Elder Ring, I'll be streaming that maybe in 30 minutes or so. And uh, hopefully I'll catch you guys then. And uh, yeah, take care. Um, I guess I'm not gonna bother raiding, so I'm just gonna stream again in a little bit. And uh, I'm lazy, so it's also really hard to raid with my new setup. So I'm just not gonna bother. Anyways, take care, peace, blah blah blah.